Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of our 100% walkthrough Bloodborne. Today we're going to be getting all the items in Upper Cathedral Ward. Um, to get here you're going to need to go through the healing workshop and use a key we got in last episode which is the Unseen Village. So if you're not too sure where to get that key make sure you go and check that video out and you shouldn't have many, uh, much trouble finding it. Uh, this video should be quite short, it's not really much to it but there are one or two semi hidden items I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, to make up for that in a way, uh, in the description you've got four beta codes for the closed beta of Heroes of the Storm. Um, I'm just going to leave them there because I don't want them, so whoever can, whoever registers them first, well, good luck, and they're for you, so yeah. Uh, also guys, I want to apologise a bit for my voice. I probably noticed that in the last few videos as well, but I've got a slight code at the moment. It's slightly getting better, but um, yeah, you're probably going to notice my voice slightly off in the next few videos. Um, but anyway guys, yeah, so we haven't really missed anything yet, um, there was an item all the way at the start there, uh, as soon as we went up the first stairs we turned around, then we went across the bridge to the lantern, uh, then to the right there was a rune, uh, pretty unmissable as well, as long as you've got some common sense of exploration. Uh, to the left here we went down there first to pick up an item be um, behind those crows, and now we're going to come over here, there's going to be a armor set in here, so make sure you don't miss that. Right, so here we can go left or right. First we're going to go right and this is an enemy I didn't um, notice existed so as soon as you pick that item up or get close to that window uh, there's going to be a werewolf with blue eyes jump through there so yeah be careful with that I didn't actually notice that until I was recording. Uh, so yeah uh, the door over there near the item we just picked up where the werewolf um, broke through the window will be opening from the other side but it's kind of a bit pointless because uh, to continue through the level you don't even have to go that way. Uh, but anyway now in the main part of the church we came down the stairs uh, we went uh, right and looked for this uh, that um, that item we just picked up there is going to allow us to buy throw um sorry poison throwing knives and that flamethrower uh, what's not actually a flamethrower which uh, um, fires that powder out you know what, what I mean I can't think of the name it starts with R but whatever anyway we went around the church anti-clockwise until we picked up this blood ritual right near the main entrance then we continued anti-clockwise until we got all the way to the end and found this passageway then climb up these stairs in the corner. Uh, in this passageway, we're going to pick up all the items here. Fast forward this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. This door takes us back to the first part of the um, main part of the church, or whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm, I'm kind of getting behind here on my voice, um, but to be honest, there's nothing really you can miss. Anyway, once we're up here on the balcony, uh, there's going to be two enemies here. You do have to kill at least, I think, I'm not sure which one it is, but you get, you're going to have to kill one of them. And he's going to drop us the key to continue through the level. Uh, this uh, gesture right here, which is kind of funny and cool. Uh, that small door we just opened to the left down there is um, going to take us to where that item was and where that werewolf broke through the window. Uh, now coming back down to where we picked the blood ritual level 5 up, uh, bottom floor of the church. We're going to open this with the key we just got from uh, one of those enemies I just mentioned. Even though you can't see the enemies in the video, obviously I know that, but still. Um, anyway, out here we're going to pick this item up, and that's pretty much it. There's, I think there's one more item. Uh, first we're going to go up here the only way we can. No items around here. There's going to be a boss battle here really easy. Uh, behind this lantern, we're going to have to break this window open and drop down here. I think this is a bob where we fought Vicar Amelia. I think I'm 99% sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to pick this magic up here, which requires 40 arcane, I think it was. Quite high stats there for that magic, but um, anyway... And that's it guys, um, I'm just going to go down here, you can fight uh, the final boss of this route, um, this guy will give you a chalice as I just take my thumbnail screenshot here. <laughs> but anyway guys, if you found anything new or this was helpful, please go like and subscribe, we'll see you next time.